Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name's Ash. In the last video, we built smart contracts to run a Web3 play to earn game. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to integrate those smart contracts into the Bank Panic game via Morales. So the first thing you need to do is go and clone down the code base from the Git repo in the link in the description so that you can follow along. We've deployed our smart contracts to Polygon's Mumbai testnet. So in the environment variables file, we've added those addresses here. These are available to copy from Remix where you deployed them or via any Mumbai testnet block explorer. But if you haven't deployed your contracts yet, then I show you how to do that via Remix in the previous video, link also in the description. This line here is the URL to your Morales server, which you can grab from your morales.io account under the server instances details. And once you're finished with the environment variables file, it will link the front end on the client side to the back end. Now your Morales server is important to our play to earn game because it will be running the cloud functions. These are a set of server side JavaScript functions that programmatically sign transactions as an admin role. Let's get into how that works. First, the cloud functions. Let's sign into our Morales account, either create a server or click on one that we've already created. Click on cloud functions. Now, this is where you can either paste or sync a file in your local code base with this Morales server instance to run some server side code. And these are gonna be the functions that are running our admin account. And these will all be included in the code base. Here, we're defining the function for when a player wins, which will then call the play to earn game contract, which will distribute the winnings via an on-chain transaction. The admin functions in this cloud file are gonna be dealing programmatically with all the escrow interactions that needed to be automated. So these cloud functions need to be pointed at the deployed play to earn smart contract and we also need to include that smart contracts ABI as well. We define the cloud function and insert the function to map to the smart contract as well as the parameters. In this case, it's the player one contract function passing in game ID, player, and the winnings that the player has won. Once the on-chain transaction is signed and run, we then return the results. Now in the front end, in the code base of our game in app.jsx, we're gonna be utilizing these cloud functions through the Morales' API, morales.cloud.run, passing in the function along with the parameters. This cloud function is run once an event within the phaser game is triggered. To note, this entire system of communication between the phaser scenes and our React components is happening via Redux, which we've covered in part one of this phaser series, which I'll also leave in a link down in the description. Every smart contract function available to the game that has got admin rights is gonna be run by this same cloud function method where the client is using Morales API to run a cloud function that then the cloud function executes the actual transaction on chain. On the other side where contract functions are just accessible to the player, the player interactions with the smart contract will be run directly via a Morales API call to the contract via Web3 execute function. The only calls that this method is gonna be concerned with for the player are the approve function directed at the ERC20 game token contract and potentially the withdraw function in the P2E game contract. Here we import the Web3 execute function from React Morales. And here is where we're utilizing the Web3 execute function to call approve when the player clicks to enter the game. So that about sums up the approach to integrating play to earn into our bank panic game what I'll be doing next is building out the interface within the phaser scenes to create a rich front-end user experience that will give seamless feedback within the Bank Panic game, building on the foundations of what I've shown you today. In upcoming tutorials, I'll also fully explore how you prevent cheating and techniques to how you can produce valid on-chain consensus from off-chain real-world data that's going to be very important for any Web3 game to be a success. In the meantime, you can follow along with my progression and fork the actual code base itself for this game on GitHub. Thanks so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Happy biddling.